fuel pressure issues can be created by many different things. One of the more common is a voltage problem. That voltage problem can be either in the negative side of the circuit or the positive side of the circuit. When you have a high voltage drop, it slows the pump down and doesn't allow it to perform to its maximum capacity. In order to properly test for voltage drop, the system has to be powered up and the pump running. With your test lead, you'll hook it to the battery negative, and then you will hook the other end of the test lead to the negative lead of your voltmeter, and then you will take the positive lead of your voltmeter and back probe the negative terminal at the fuel pump. Cycle the key. We have a 0.27 max. We don't want that measurement to be any more than 0.5, which is half a volt. What that's telling us is, with loading the system, running the pump, we're going to be able to determine if there's a high resistance in the circuit. Um, we could even start the vehicle at this point and monitor that to see if the resistance changes. As you can see, we've got a maximum of 0 0.32, 3, 324. Uh, that's very good. This is a, the negative side of this system has a very low resistance. Now you'll take your test lead and you'll hook to the positive side of the battery. You'll hook the other end of your test lead to the positive lead of your voltmeter and you will back probe the positive connector on the fuel pump with your negative lead of your voltmeter. Without the key on, you can see we've got 12.24 volts. What that is, it's finding a ground path through the pump, but we're not running enough amperage to actually run the pump at this point because we're powering it through our voltmeter. Go ahead and cycle the key on. 0.895. Again. Again, we got a 0.89. We really want to see this voltage drop at less than 0.5 volt. Uh, obviously, we can see that there's an issue in the positive circuit. Uh, we've got some high resistance going on, and we may have a uh, relay or a connection that's actually causing that. And that would require us to segment the circuit on the positive side, go back to the next connector, and again, do your voltage drop until we find the problem. Go ahead and start the vehicle. As you can see, with the vehicle running, because we now we're activating the charging system, we now we have a 1.02 voltage drop, which is very excessive. If you find that you have a high voltage drop, whether it be on the positive or negative side of the circuit, that is very possibly the cause of your low pressure in the system. You could see a corroded connector, a chafed wire. After fixing it, you may not even need a pump replacement.